I think the question that I'm asked most about Lightworks, apart from how do you use Lightworks, is how do you take a long clip and make smaller clips out of it? In other words, if you've got a really long clip, but you want to make multiple ins and outs so that you can use different parts of that same clip, how can you do that? The answer is surprisingly quite simple. So what I've done is gone to pexels.com. I'll put a link under the video. It's a great site to get videos that you can use in your projects, a little bit like VidEasy. And I've just grabbed these two clips, which are slightly long. I'm going to double click on this vintage car clip and note that I'm in log right now. I don't want to think about edits. I don't want to think about anything apart from the clip I've got. So in this case, I'll just press the space bar and we can just see what's happening with this clip. So there we are seeing the radiator of a car, the grill. And then as it goes on, the camera should change to a different angle. And you can see that this movie is actually made up of an already edited series of clips. Now, if I didn't want to use this whole movie, I could, of course, just mark an in and an out. So what I'll do is mark an in, fast forward it to where it changes to the interior of the car, which is roughly about there. Use my arrow keys to just forward the frames until it changes like that and mark that and out. Now, normally that would be really easy. Mark it in, mark it out, go to edit, pick up your clip and put it down. But in this case, we need to mark more than one in and out. Now, of course, you could just jump back to here, mark it in and out, jump back here and so on and so on. That's not an efficient way to work because you're just slowing yourself down and you're actually making your life a little bit harder. So let's go back to log. Let's take away the distractions. I've marked this in and out as my first clip. Well, actually, it's going to be a sub clip. So I'm going to right click, go to make, and I'm going to click on sub clip. Before I do that, I want you to just have a look over here on the left hand side at this menu. So as I go to make sub clip, you can see a new menu has come up called sub clip. And the little clip that I saved my in and out is now here as a sub clip. I'm now going to go through. Let's just mark an in and I'll take the interior of the car. I don't need so much of it. And I'll mark that as an out, make that into a sub clip. You can see that's collected over there. And then the picture changes to the outside of the car. So let's mark that an in, mark that an out, right click, make sub clip. And finally, I think there's a last shot of the vehicle across the road. So we'll just mark that as an in there and an out there, right click, make, sub clip. So what we've done now is really in a simple way, we've taken a long clip and we've just cut it up into little sub clips. Now let's go to edit. You can see that my original clips, so there's the drifting with cars and the vintage car, they're just sitting there. But in my sub clips, I have got all the new clips I made. What I'm gonna very quickly do is just number these as I remember them. And what you should note is if you've got a really long clip, let's say you've got footage of a concert or something like this, and you need to cut it up into sub clips, it's going to get confusing really quickly because each clip will have the name of the original video with just a number at the end. This is far easier for me to remember. So now it's just a case of treating the sub clips as if they were normal clips. I'm going to pick up clip number one, throw that into the timeline, number two, and so on until I've got all my clips into the timeline. Now I know you're much really thinking, why am I cutting it up if I'm just kind of recreating the original clip? But the point is, because we've cut it up, we now no longer have to treat it as if it was the original clip. So we could actually start off with the view on the road, like so. Let's right click and close this gap. And then we can go to the radiator grill. We can go to number three and then have number two playing at the end. So using sub clips, we now have full control of which part of the movie we show and when. Now there is a warning I'm gonna give you because I've seen people do this before. And what I've seen is people will make all their sub clips and they will take you know an hour, two hours, finally cutting their sub clips and collecting them here and renaming them. And then thinking to themselves, well, I've got my sub clips. Let me just delete the original one because it's taking up too much space on my hard drive. Now, that's a really big mistake, and I'm going to show you by making that mistake in front of you. I'm going to go right, click here, delete this clip, and say yes. It's now gone. Now, it doesn't look like anything bad's happened. 
If I go to sub clips, you can already see something bad has happened. If I rewind my movie to the start, absolutely nothing happens. The problem is sub clips are not actually physically clips. They're just your ins and outs saved in this folder called sub clips. Because you've now deleted the original one, Lightworks cannot figure out where these sub clips are from and what these sub clips should show. And it gets much worse than this. So let me just re-import my original movie. Let me do that right now. And here you go, I've imported my original movie that we had, the vintage car one. Let's go to edit. Let's go to sub clips. You would think that re-importing your original clip would take care of your sub clips. But in this case, no, you lose your sub clips even if you re-import your original file. And that would be heartbreaking if you had spent hours and maybe even days fine tuning your sub clips and then you did something silly like delete your original file. So that's a mistake not to make. Remember, if you want some peace of mind, that original clip is taking up space on your hard drive. The sub clips are taking up almost no space because they're not actually real. They're just your ins and outs saved in a folder called sub clips. So this video should solve the problem of literally the hundreds of questions I have got asked about how to do multiple ins and outs in a single clip.